Okay, hi boys and girls. Um, we're standing outside of a, uh, a Mustang Mach-E. We're gonna be doing a, a Ford Blue Cruise, which is their ADAS system. So uh, let me jump in and let's get going. you're comfortable you can the one yeah. button on the left to activate yeah. and that'll set your speed and activate um, blue cruise for us and i'm hoping for more speed but this isn't uh, let me okay. just get over here a bit sure it seems to be that's dead good. slow that's... oh here we go we'll do that all right so now uh <coughs> you're in hands-free mode here and again the first time it's activated it's going to remind you to monitor the environment yeah. and that will fade away and then <coughs> you are now back in a uh, hands-free zone. Okay. So we're driving uh, our new Blue Cruise feature launching on the Mach-E. And uh, this is a, a feature that allows you to drive with your hands off of the steering wheel in uh, limited access divided highways like this one. Um, we're supporting, as we launch this feature, almost 130,000 miles of hands-free, what we call Blue Zones in North America and uh, we're really excited to offer this feature to our Mach-E customers as well as F-150. Um, at the moment, there's a what we call a driver-facing camera that's on top of the steering column. I'll point to it here. That's actually facing the driver and it's verifying that the driver has his or her eyes watching the road. And uh, that, that is what we have in the system to ensure that the driver <coughs> is monitoring the environment. And if, for whatever reason, the driver takes his or her eyes off the road for up to a few seconds, this will give them a reminder to re-engage and continue to watch the road. But as long as that happens, and as long as you're in a blue zone, you can comfortably drive hands-free as we are right now. So the vehicle uh, has a number of radars uh, that are around the periphery of the vehicle that monitor uh, the objects around it, and we also use a forward-facing camera uh, on the windshield that also um, uses vision uh, to monitor the objects around the vehicle as well and that's all part of the blue crew system with a driver facing camera all together controlling the speed of the vehicle controlling the steering so that it uh, stays in the center of its lane and in this case again in a hands-free mode okay so we're coming up to university right now i think oh this a is little Baldwin. bit sorry yeah a little bit um, anyway, when we get there, um, will it take the off ramp or will it just say drive uh, from now on? Yeah, so um, <coughs> when we go to, t when we launch this feature, um, it's going to continue in this lane until you change lanes manually, take an off ramp manually. Um, mm -hmm. the, uh, the navigation isn't necessarily integrated into the feature. I see. So okay. lane changes are manual. You would manually indicate that you want to shift left or right, hands back on the steering wheel, change lanes. Once you're centered, uh, the vehicle will offer hands-free once again after you change lanes manually. Okay, so it doesn't force you into the right lane then? <clears throat> correct, correct. Yep, we, we rely on the driver to uh, put the vehicle in whatever lane the, the, the driver wants to be in. <coughs> mm -hmm. Okay, good. And um, so I've asked for 79, you can see here, but the car ahead of me is only going 72, so the, uh, uh, There's like an the adaptive, assist is, yeah. is, uh, is keeping me, whatever, looks like five car lengths away, so that if something bad happens, the brakes will go on. That's exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. So um, so that's, that's a good feature. I actually do not like the feature of being shoved over to the right hand lane mm. it took me quite a while to figure out how to turn that off when i was uh when i was in a tesla interesting um yeah um so uh this part i like now i was going to ask a question um is this um uh, does this does this travel uh, dead accurate to the center of the uh the dotted lines here or are we uh, justified to one side or another so as we're launching the feature, we're positioning the vehicle in the center of the lane. 
and we allow the driver to actually, if, if the driver would like to position the vehicle <laughs> slightly left or slightly right within the lane, you can do so, yeah. and the, the, the feature will not cancel if you tend to manually shift it, say, away from a semi-truck or something like that. We yeah. allow the driver to position the vehicle slightly off-center if they'd like to. Do you do ape? Um, if you're driving fast, it's nice to apex. Like uh, if I'm taking a, like this curve here, and I happen to be in the right-hand lane, <clears throat> I would normally. Whoops. Keep the hands yeah. The so this though. this is a, a bit of a sharp curve. This one and the next one, it's going to uh, to keep you safe. It's going to ask you to put your hands back on the steering wheel. And I'm glad that you noticed that. That's an indication that our immersive cluster with all of its animations is catching your eye. So now yeah. that we're through the curve, it's going to offer hands-free back to you. And then okay. once it approaches this next one, it'll likely ask you to revert hands-on once again. Yeah. And it really only does that for sharp curves, as these two curves are, as you okay. noticed, uh, back a so bit. So we're going to just pop that off. He wants in and yeah. over anyway, so let's uh, do this. We'll get off of university. Is that what, the, yeah. is that what we did so here? Yeah, right. just put that back on. Ready ready but not doing anything hang on so um, let me get this going again yeah so it looks like you accidentally bumped the cruise control off button so if you hit the leftmost button just to reactivate well, I, I'm pretty sure that it wouldn't have done it on that curve oh that's probably true so, <coughs> so, there so we here are. we are back in a hands now that we're <laughs> out of that really sharp curve it'll offer you hands free again and it'll handle you know reasonable curves it's only those few places uh, like we have around this area where you have sharp curves where we ask the driver to revert back to the hands on the wheel hmm. so how far down the road are we before you'll be able to uh, do uh, normal city driving or in this case uh, two lane highways and things like that yeah, so we are uh, working to continually improve and enhance the features, and I think universities where yeah, you want to go. Away. Yep, so uh, what we launch with will have the ability to upgrade over time with our Ford PowerUp software updates. Um, and we've already talked about a few enhancements that we'll be offering our customers. Um, things like uh, lane change assist, where instead of manually changing lanes, Blue Cruise will help the drivers yeah. do that in an automated fashion. That we've announced that's coming soon, as is the ability to control the speed of vehicles if you're going around sharp <laughs> curves, what we call predictive speed assist. Those curves back there, we would... Uh, okay, so just to interrupt, that's my exit. Is it going to do anything? No, so you'll need to okay. manually exit here, and now you're in control, fully control the vehicle again now. Okay. Okay, so again, with my Tesla, it'll take me down here and then I'll say take over like about here. Okay. <clears throat> so um, that's a feature that's uh, quite handy, especially if you're uh, not paying attention or talking on the cell phone or, or your wife is yelling at you. <clears throat> so um, so that's, uh, that's kind of like one feature. It'd be great if you could um, um, uh, add. Okay. So, um, while we're at this stoplight here, um, I will tell you that um, I do like uh, the um, oops, I do like the um, uh, the uh, the Tesla driving experience better, um, and the reason for that is because I do not have to worry about a sharp or a like a like a narrow sweeping curve mm. or uh or whatnot i've never had the uh the um autopilot or whatever you want to call it i never had that turn off mm. <clears throat> so those are those are two things that uh i guess i can um, say that i i'm not 100 percent happy with um i will tell you too that it gives me um a really um when you're going around a curve and whatnot, it, uh, you'll, I don't know, if, I, I don't know if it shows up in the camera, but I put my hands back up because I wasn't quite sure <clears throat> where it was going to be and mm. what was going to happen. So uh, those are two things that um, um, I think uh, I think need to be improved upon. Um, and like I've said, I. I'm <laughs> not a good news consultant, but uh, <laughs> um, I will tell you that. Um, that uh, the car drives nice. I, I like the way it drives. 
but I, I think that if I was going to be in charge of this, um, I would suggest that um, the uh, first half, that's that sweeping curve stuff or fairly sharp or whatever it is, you need to address that. I think that would be something that you um, absolutely flat out would want to have uh, uh, better than what you've got. Okay. And, um, and, uh, and the reason basically is that um, you know, I got a pension plan that I need to be uh, funded, <laughs> fully funded, <clears throat> and I want to see. Um, I want to see you guys. Um, is that it? Good. That's it. So um, I'll turn this off. So anyway, um, all in all, it, it was okay. But it, I, I, I guess I've been a little bit uh, spoiled by watching what Tesla's been doing with the uh, the full self driving beta. That is really impressive and. Um, I'm going to suggest that somehow, if you can, get your hands on it and try it out. It's it really it'll help you understand what I was what I was talking about as far as uh, as far as improvements are concerned. So um, um, I don't know what else to say except uh, uh, keep watching, boys and girls, and uh, and maybe maybe we'll get another ride and drive, and I'll go. Oh, this is marvelous, <laughs> but not this time. <clears throat> Anyways. Thanks so much for watching, and um, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.